what's your take on the value of silence? And is there silence? A, silence? Is there a place for it in your 24/7, 365 no. life? No. <laughs> but that's good. This is important for everybody. It's amazing that you're self-aware and you know your hard wiring that silence is important to you. Yep. The thing that I fear as I grow in popularity is that people try to emulate me. And the reason I continue to put out, now I want to talk about what I think is the way I do it so people can use me as a blueprint for themselves. But the reason every two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, I'll say something that throws them off is I want to remind them that I'm just one human being and this is what works for me. I'm the reverse. Something that, you know, I'm sure DRock's laughing right now. There's times when we walk into the office and it's quiet because everybody's on headphones and trying to be respectful and it freaks me out. I need volume. Like I need, I need the light to see your faces. I need the stimulation. I suffocate in silence. Of course when I'm exhausted, these guys picked me up last night, we flew from New York to Ireland, one hour nap, all day Ireland, flight, they picked me up, I had to get mentally ready, I wanted to catch up with him but I was kind of like, I needed a little bit of silence, sometimes I need it, um, but 99% of the time, when I'm awake, I need action. You know, and, and, okay. and so, but you have to understand, and I think we're gonna connect on this, I'm only comfortable and at peace in the chaos. Yeah. When I get silence, I get sad, I get anxious. It's not interesting to me. So I think the key here is to just know yourself. Yeah.